Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Sound 101. This one's a little bit different. We've had a lot of people ask questions like, hey, I just bought my Deity Connect system, but how do I use it? Yeah, you guys didn't exactly tell us in a video how to use it. So that's what we're gonna do today on Sound 101. This video is gonna be all about how to set this up very quickly and all the kind of settings that we use here at Daddy Microphones for this channel when we go out into the field. So I'm gonna grab the transmitter. This is actually the exact same one we use in all of our videos, you can see. Let me show you what our menu actually looks like. So here is our setting and as you can see, as soon as I hit that menu, you'll see I've got a plus 24 going on in my transmitter. I think a lot of people when they got this system, it came default as zero dB. We actually updated that. So when you do a factory reset, it actually will factory reset to the setting plus 24 dB. That's gonna give you a great signal to noise ratio. I also like to keep my limiter on and that is just gonna prevent us from clipping. You'll notice I am not using a low cut at this or the high frequency boost because often here at Deity, we actually just clip it right here to the shirts. Like when you watch that Foley video, because when you're doing those reality kind of shoots and you have a very small crew, the last thing you wanna do is risk clothing rustle. If you go underneath the shirt, you may end up with some bad takes, but anytime you actually go on the outside of the clothes with your little lavalier, you're always gonna be very good audio. And that's kind of our settings for this transmitter. If you do have people that get really loud and bolsterous, you may wanna drop that down to like a plus 21 one, maybe uh, an 18, but for a lot of people at just normal speaking volume, plus 24 is gonna do you wonderful. Now let's actually go over to the receiver. This is also where a lot of people seem to get kind of confused. We even had in our own office when we were beta testing these units, some of the people around here got kind of confused and only recorded one transmitter, not both. When you actually get this kind of unit, you'll notice this screen right here. It's your home screen. But as soon as I hit that menu button, you're gonna get to an RX menu. And that RX menu is actually the receiver itself. So I'm gonna select that one more time and you can see output level and output type. Let me clear this up real fast. Output level is actually the level coming out of here, not here. Okay, so you set your sensitivity here like we did in the gain stage video and you set this level to match. What's important here is if you're going into a DSLR, you're gonna to wanna to reduce this quite a bit because DSLRs do not have the best preamplifiers, especially something like the Panasonic series. They can only go like say negative 12 dB. They don't have a lot of control in their preamps. So you're gonna to wanna to send at a softer signal. So what I'm gonna do is quickly just go into this and I'm gonna show you what my settings are. I like my A output at negative nine dB and my B output as a plus 12. Now you might say, why do you have two separate settings? I'll tell you. My A output, I typically am using this on a DSLR. Uh, you may say, Andrew, you're a sound guy, shouldn't you be using the sound back? Not always the case. If you're doing a small little production, going right into the camera can be just fine enough. I mean, if you're only doing one lavalier, you don't need to set up all this extra stuff. Something like this is perfect for going right into a DSLR. That's why we included the DSLR cable. Now, the important part is, if you're going into a DSLR, also set it into DSLR mode. What DSLR mode is gonna do is it's actually gonna let you put transmitter A on the left, transmitter B on the right, so you can get isolated recordings. I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna go back one. I'm gonna go into my output level. As you can see, mono is selected. Now, let me show you the different options here. As you can see, we have XLR mode and DSLR mode. So if you are going into something like a Zoom F8, Zoom F4, Mix B3, all those kinds of different audio records, you're gonna to wanna to choose XLR mode. If you're going into a camera with XLR, you're gonna to wanna to select XLR mode. And XLR mode is gonna give you an option to record A output is transmitter A, B output is transmitter B. If you need something like transmitter A on both channels, in post-production in Adobe, right click on your footage and select what channels you want and where do you actually want them routed. It's actually very simple and you can actually copy and paste that attribute to the rest of your footage. When you're doing something like this and you're setting up your data connect, you can either go XLR, don't forget to change your receiver over to XLR mode. If you're using DSLR mode, don't forget to set it up for DSLR mode and use the actual proper cable. So different modes, different cables, pretty, pretty simple. Negative nine on the receiver seems like a pretty good setting. Plus 24 on the transmitter seems like a pretty good setting. I like to use a limiter, but not necessary for you. Also, one last question that we get asked a lot is, I opened up my system, I turned it on, and the screens went black immediately. Well, that's actually your screen lock, and what you can do is actually go into the menu, set it from the default setting to something that you actually may find a little bit more reasonable, like 30 seconds to a minute. I like to set mine to 15 seconds, because if I've already made my changes here, and I've already placed that on talent, I'm good to go. And if I need to make any more adjustments, remember, you can just uh, make all those adjustments on your receiver. You don't necessarily need to go back and fiddle. So let the screen go black and give yourself a little bit better battery life.
Well, again, I hope this guide was really, really helpful for you guys. If you have any more questions about your Deity Connect system, ask them in the comments below and we will get to answering those questions immediately so you can get back on set and recording some beautiful audio. I'm Andrew from Deity Microphones. Thank you for watching.